So I think you cannot really compare an aerial drone to an undersea drone. This is a completely different domain and you know, the requirements are completely different. And also what you want to do with it and also what you can, can do with it. Just physics, basically. It is not weaponized, that's what I can say. Um, and, but it is also not a reconnaissance uh, uh, as such. I think the autonomy is something uh, quite of a challenge because you need to have true autonomy. Um, and then the other thing is what we've been told what the, the military need is range, speed and endurance. So, therefore, you need to carry a lot of energy to f fulfill this, actually. So, the key challenge was just purely physics, batteries only get you that far. Uh, so, we had to develop uh, our own uh, hydrogen system. Um, we can really expect that they actually develop something what we develop as well. So, I think it's a very important point. People think, oh yeah, it's great, somebody's doing an AUV and maybe you should put it into you know, operations. I think we are truly behind this point. This is now about having a counter-measurement against a counter-measurement. I mean,